When we talk about young people uh, using these platforms, what are some of the ways maybe you've seen that mm. young people are really leveraging on digital platforms and tech to make sure that A, we have sustainable growth, sustainable mm. development, yeah, and that we're also just uh, becoming more empowered as mm -hmm. a whole? That's really good. I mean, just to go back to the conversation we had ar around economic empowerment is yes. we're seeing young people actually using these digital platforms to sell products. And interestingly, I've seen a lot of uh, young people starting to do like thrifted clothes. Mm -hmm. they, they have hobbies and they kind of build businesses around that and they have some money that then they can use um, for their livelihood. Then also we have seen them using social media to amplify social causes sure. um, as I've just shared in terms of being able to educate um, the population like some of us who are millennials we were getting educated and schooled about yeah. you know what was stated within the finance True. Within, mm -hmm. uh, different civic education yes, at its best which yeah. is really good mm -hmm. um, and then also we are seeing them develop skills using these digital platforms um, there is this uh, very popular uh, platform Udemy which mm -hmm. has like this really short courses, courses yeah. so if you want to do baking you can really go there and, and see how it's done and kind of get quick solutions that you can use to start a small business. True. There's YouTube. Um, Google also has a few courses um, that are free that young people can use to kind of maybe do... Um, what we call this uh, UD uh, design. Yes, mm -hmm. UI, UI. UI, yes. yes. And also ChatGPT. Uh, you can become a person who helps people write their masters and theses and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, like a prompt engineer. Yeah, very yeah. true. That's a new career that uh, is yeah. just coming up now. Yeah. I can be a prompt engineer. That's what I do for a living. Yeah. So when it comes to growth, there are things that we need to also pay keen attention to. And of course, the environment should be conducive to make sure that this growth is actually facilitated. Mm. Do you have examples where, notable examples where we can actually refer to and say, you know what, this happened here and this is the kind of growth that's coming through? Oh, re that's really good. Uh, a good question. One of the challenges that we face here in Africa uh, is around data collection. Um, we don't have very good data um, in some of these areas that we can then use to reference and say, mm -hmm. this is where this is working. And we do need to invest a bit more in being able to collect this data. We are talking about young people being able to create jobs um, through digital platforms, but we don't have the actual tangible numbers to say, hey, we've yeah, done 10% or mm -hmm. 20%. So in terms of data, not really, but can we see it happening around us? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would say this is an area of improvement where we really need to monitor because when we monitor, then we motivate more young people to want to participate because then I can say 10,000 youth were helped to be able to do a certain thing yes. and this is the outcome. But I would say maybe from a Swiss contact point of view, we do have a program where we work with young people in plumbing and electrical trades mm -hmm. and we connect them with jobs in the workplace and they go to school at the same time and it's a two-year program mm -hmm. and we have beneficiaries who are 77 and who by the end of this year the first cohort we have yeah. a first cohort and a second cohort mm -hmm. accumulatively those are 200 apprentices mm -hmm. and at the end of the program once they sit their final certification we are supposed to track how many of the apprentices were able to retain jobs mm -hmm. how many of them were able to start new jobs so they still area of improvement especially in like the sector Mm -hmm. generally but yes. when you look at NGOs because of the nature of our work yeah we can track from a you project perspective mm -hmm. but from a Kenya-wide perspective or uh, Africa-wide perspective there's still room hard for to that. get numbers